I had to explain to this husband because he eventually showed up and he said he agreed to everything I was going to do. He was okay with intubation and blood product. But I tell her, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to what she's losing. And if she does code CPR and get epinephrine to an empty heart, it's not going to bring her back. <laughs> Let me try my best and stabilize her so she can go to get flown from helicopter because this is an emergency as bad as a, a hemorrhage in the belly from a full of blood from trauma a GI bleed and the one thing I didn't have is a Hail Mary because I put the women in the sim lab and assisted once by reading instructions with another colleague of mine one time a Blakemore catheter or something that looks like that hopefully a Linton not the Minnesota one it has too many ports like how many lakes are in Minnesota that's how many, too many uh, balloons to worry about in ports to inflate on a Minnesota. That's, to me, it's nonsense. All you need is a Linton. Don't tempt yourself to inflate the esophagus on a Blakemore catheter. We don't even have that. And that probably could have saved her. You put it in, it's like a huge balloon. Like a Foley. The balloon inflates, and then you tug. And you tug so hard, but not to tear anything, but tug hard enough and it cuts off the blood flow to the gastric varices to the esophageal varices. We didn't have that. No, we didn't have that.